Hi, welcome to the next video in the Tokyo Storyfront series. We are still working really hard to finish the movie uh, in the anime studio I'm working uh, in, so I don't really have time to do my next project, but I want to finish all the 10 videos for the illustrations in the series. And I also want to give you some advice and answer some questions that appeared uh, in the comments below the previous videos. And this time I'm painting this really cute restaurant that I found during one of my walks in Kichijoji. And actually this building is a lot bigger, it's longer, so it continues on both sides, but I wanted to cut just the restaurant and make it look like its own thing, a narrow cute building. And I really like all the details, the metal vent, the really huge sign over the entrance, the menu that looks like a bear and the karaoke signs are excellent so I really wanted to uh, to paint this one and you see this kind of strange small restaurant a little bit dodgy but with its own charm uh, all around Tokyo and all around Japan so yeah it's for me it's one of the maybe not hallmarks but um, characteristic things in in Japan I'm using of course the Copic Multiliner 0.7 for the lines and my watercolor set that you can read about on my blog's fact section uh, as usual and I'm using 300 grams per square meter watercolor paper uh, and I taped it to the board so it doesn't move. Uh, for this picture uh, I don't use so much water in the watercolors, I don't do uh, such a big washes so uh, I'm not actually really worried about the warping and because I'm not painting uh, up until the border uh, of the paper so I'm just taping it so it stays in place. And moving along to your question, I got this one a lot of times actually and you ask me how do I choose my colors because uh, I have this palette and, and it works so well. There are some tricks i mean uh, i have been doing backgrounds for anime for some years now and actually just the amount of work i did so far the experience allows me to kind of know already uh, what colors will work better with what colors and what combinations will be okay but there are some tricks you can use to figure out the colors i have a big folder uh, with color references. The content of the image doesn't matter. I save a lot of works of various artists I see on the internet. I think, uh, oh, those colors are perfect. So I'll just save it. And when I'm starting a new picture, I just go through the folder and look for uh, some files that are relevant and I can be inspired uh, with the colors. And also, as I said before, when I'm not really sure about the colors, I just take a photo of the lines I did by hand and I open the photo in Photoshop and I test the colors, just really rough. And I can also use and pick the colors from the reference files. And when I feel comfortable with the color scheme, I can then move to uh, watercolors. So I'm kind of sure that I will not spoil the work I did so far. So this is the finished picture and you can see the whole series on my website, it's already finished and on my Behance account also. There are also prints you can order, please subscribe, comment and share. See you in the next video, bye bye.